Reason behind Erling Haaland's transfer to Manchester City Haaland is one of the most promising football players out there. The kid is just amazing. If he carries his current form forward, then there's little to no doubt that the man will etch his name with footballing legends throughout history. Hello and welcome to our channel Erling Braut Haaland Live. Today, we're going to talk about the reasons behind Erling Haaland's transfer to Manchester City. But before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon so that you can get instant updates about our videos. Erling Haaland's transfer to Manchester City is now finalized. On June 13th, the club announced that the striker had signed a five-year contract after agreeing to pay his rumored 60 million euro release clause to bring him to the club from Borussia Dortmund. As the transfer was revealed 22 years after his father Alf Inge joined the same club, Haaland hailed it as a proud day for myself and my family. Since exploding onto the scene with RB Salzburg in 2020, the 21-year-old has been one of Europe's most prolific goal scorers. Haaland has scored nearly at will during his three-year stint in the Bundesliga. And he's widely regarded as one of the best young players in the world. The cost paid by City for Haaland's signature, as stated by his contract release clause, appears to be a trifle for a player of his age, quality, and goal-scoring ability. This gave Haaland and his representative complete control over personal terms and talks. It also sparked a bidding war amongst Europe's elite teams, with the goal of luring Haaland to City with the most money and the best chance of winning championships. While Real Madrid, Barcelona, and Manchester United have all been connected with Haaland in the past year, none of them have the same combination of available finances, squad depth, and the European status as Man City. Now, let us take a look at some of the reasons why Haaland is making a move to Manchester City. According to rumors, Erling Haaland is expected to be one of Manchester City's highest paid players, with an annual salary of £21 million. In terms of Erling Haaland's net worth, the Norwegian striker is said to be worth a whopping £9 million, $12 million as of January 2022. The 21-year-old is poised to sign a five-year contract that will keep him at the Etihad Stadium until 2027, according to reports. Pep Guardiola's team will be a force to be reckoned with now that Haaland's signing to Manchester City has been announced, as the only piece missing in their star-studded lineup was a striker, and now they may have landed the finest of the lot. Haaland's goal-scoring record in the Champions League did not differ from that in his local league. But the team's overall performance did. In each of his three seasons with Dortmund, Haaland failed to get past the quarter-finals. At Manchester City, this needs to change. As the English team aims to finally get the Champions League monkey off their back, Haaland will be a huge part of the equation. For City fans, semi-final and final disappointments in each of the past two seasons are difficult to swallow, but for Haaland, they represent a significant improvement over where he was previously, as well as an opportunity to become a long-remembered figure at a club chasing its first Champions League title. In addition to this, Haaland's family has a significant history of involvement with the club. The city of Leeds is where Haaland was born, and his father, Alf Inge Haaland, was a soccer player for Leeds United from 1997 to 2000. Alf Inge relocated to Manchester in the year 2000, and Erling spent most of his formative years in the city. The older Haaland spent three years with the club, usually playing on the right side of the defence or in the middle of the field. He totaled 38 appearances for the team and scored three goals. Although he went back to play three more seasons, where he made a total of six appearances and even managed to score a goal in his home country of Norway before hanging up his cleats for good, it was evident that he still had strong ties to Manchester. There have also been reports that Haaland Sr. was quite influential during the transfer to City. If Haaland can help City win the Champions League and other trophies in 2022-23, he may be in line for the Ballon d'Or right away. By the time the 2023 Ballon d'Or is awarded, he'll be 23 years old. While he wouldn't be the youngest champion, that honor belongs to Brazilian forward Ronaldo, who won it at the age of 21 years and 96 days in 1997. He'd be an excellent company. Lionel Messi and Michael Owen both won their first Ballon d'Or at the age of 22 and went on to have successful careers. 
Haaland will gain the global exposure he needs in Man City to become one of the most well-known footballers in the world. And he has a legitimate chance on becoming Man City's first ever Ballon d'Or winner. De Bruyne has been on the shortlist many times as a City player and will undoubtedly be nominated again this season. Haaland should have the goals, championships, media attention and supporting players around him to make a serious run of the prestigious accolade in the years until his Man City contract expires in 2027, with a wealth of offensive skill on the City squad. All about persistence from Arling Haaland. Another reason that Haaland has come to City is that he wanted to play under Pep Guardiola. While Guardiola's recent Champions League failures have received some criticism, the Spaniard is, without a doubt, one of the most successful and well-liked managers in the world. Pep Guardiola, whose coach Lionel Messi, Robert Lewandowski and Sergio Aguero, among others, was a significant draw for Haaland, who can learn from the Man City manager and grow in the same way. According to Haaland, I've always watched City and have loved doing so in recent seasons. He also said, you can't help but admire their style of play, it's exciting, and they create a lot of chances, which is perfect for a player like me. And also, there are so many world-class players in this squad, and Pep is one of the greatest managers of all time, so I believe I'm in the right place to fulfill my ambitions. It's no secret that England's Premier League is the most watched in the world, which should appeal to a 21-year-old aspiring superstar. Haaland would have a unique opportunity to gain worldwide exposure by playing for a side that dominates the Premier League on a weekly basis, winning five of the last ten league titles and placing second in another two. This is a crucial component to the young Norwegian's next destination if he aspires to reach the ranks of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. If Haaland can replicate his goal-scoring prowess in the Premier League, the buzz around his name endorsement chances and general global reputation will rival that of any player in the game. Now, one question remains. How does Erling Haaland fit into Manchester City? Well, Man City is one of the most possession-oriented teams in the world, which aligns with Dortmund's style to a lesser extent. This season, Germany had 59% possession in the Bundesliga and above 60% in the Champions League group stage. He turns, gets away from that tend to clip his heels. He's come to Aguero. Aguero shot is rifled into the net. City's efficiency, on the other hand, has been a liability considering the club's high attacking volume. Pep Guardiola has not replaced star Sergio Aguero since his departure, meaning City's gone much of the previous two seasons without a true centre striker on the squad. With Haaland's arrival, Guardiola's plans will have to be reverted back to the formation with Aguero in the team which could cause some tactical instability. But knowing Guardiola, he will factor Haaland's skills into his planning. Haaland's an amazing player. His touch efficiency is also far superior to everyone else at City right now. In his 24 Bundesliga appearances in 22-23, Haaland had 65 non-block shots on 150 touches in the opponent penalty area, giving him a shot-to-touch ratio of 43%. With 24% of his touches in the penalty area, he produced a shot on target. Haaland is a shot machine, and when he gets touches in advanced situations, the opposition's goalie is put to the test. Haaland's career has blossomed due to his attack-oriented style of football followed in the Bundesliga. But he's still young, and transitioning to Premier League standards won't be a problem for him. It may take time for Haaland to acclimate to a new league, and a manager who gives specific and intricate instructions to his players for a specific style. But at 21, Haaland has the potential to become one of Europe's most lethal strikers. So that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.